what happened in Uttar Pradesh with the, the mosque survey and the violence that happened later. There are legal stalwarts who have said that this is because of what happened with the Ayodhya judgment. There's a bearing that happens, like it may not, but then judges will get affected, won't they? Obviously, uh, judges across the spectrum have to understand that they are here to decide in terms of, of the law. And if there is a particular law which they have to apply, then they have to apply that law. And if there is an error on the part of a judge that's capable of correction by a, high, by a higher court. Uh, when you said, I pray to a deity for a solution to the Ayodhya dispute. Now, this, uh, this was termed shocking and that uh, you asked for uh, divine intervention. I derive a great deal of uh, comfort and solace from being uh, a person who practices my faith. Your ability to do justice in court and in terms of the constitution, the law, does not depend on whether you are an atheist. So he says the reality of uh, India is that, that the opposition taken upon themselves to do the task of the media and the judiciary also. People should not presume that the judiciary should be performing the role of the opposition in parliament or the state legislatures. Is there political and, pressure uh, uh, on the Supreme Court? No. This is a right-wing judge, this is a left-wing judge. This is how people talk. <laughs>